here and there everyone, taking a look at another Lego DC comic superhero set. So today we'll be taking a look at another Batman set. So today we're actually going to take a look at the uh, new August 2015 set. And uh, no, it's not August, so this is actually kind of an early release. I uh, picked it up at Target, so I can confirm that Target does have some August Lego sets, which is pretty neat. So I don't know about Toys R Us, they have them on the website. I'm not sure about in-store, however. So anyways, we're going to take a look at the Batboat Harbor Pursuit, which is set number 76, sorry, sorry, 76034, and has 260, what, 264 pieces. And, uh, yeah, uh, it comes with three minifigures, it comes with Destro, Robin, and Batman, and, uh, so that's pretty neat. Batman is not exclusive, but, uh, that's pretty neat. Robin and, uh, Deathstroke are, however, exclusive, which is very neat. So, um, anyways, starting off with Mr. Deathstroke here in his little... Boat. So, uh, here he is. I'll take him out. Let's start with the minifigures, and I'll get his accessories that he has with him. He has a gun and a sword, and if I pick this guy up and focus in on it, we can take a look at him. Alright, so here... Hold on. One second. One second. Alright, here he is. So, here's Deathstroke. So, very neat character. Um, very exciting to have Deathstroke in, in Lego form, because that's a first. And, uh, we get that very neat orange and black mask on there. Very iconic. You can see there's, uh, even part of the mask coming off, you know, when he's tying the mask on. And he's got this whole bandolier, I think, I think that's how you pronounce it, of bullets on there. And he does have a blue costume with some orange belt and some very neat, um... Dark blue and orange legs, which is really neat, with an orange waist, which is definitely neat to see. And you also have that dark blue uh, outfit around there on the arms, orange hands, and a little pistol here, and a silver katana. So definitely a very neat minifigure. Deathstroke is definitely quite cool. And uh, he also has his own little boat. So definitely really neat. Uh, we got some gigantic missiles here, which are pretty awesome. And uh, they're built from... Looks like four pieces, which is pretty neat. Fire it. Those little flick fire missiles. I don't know if you can actually flick them. I'm not very good at this, but... Eh. Eh. Oh, gosh. That does work really well. Oh, man. Okay. Sorry. So, yeah. You can flick those out. And uh, he also has a little chain here with a little box, which happens to include two diamonds within this box. And you can slide it back on here. You gotta have to start from the back there to fit it in there. But it fits very, very securely in here. Which is pretty neat. And uh, you can see those are probably like the little jets on the back of this little jet ski here. This boat. And uh, it is blue and orange. And it's a very neat design actually. Just because it's very smooth. So definitely neat little boat we have there. And of course... Let's focus back in so you can see him. And uh, we do have the Bat Boat, of course, from the Bat Boat Harbor Pursuit. So, definitely very neat. So, let's start with the minifigures here. Let's start with Batman, because it's Batman. And let's focus in so we can see him a little more clearly. Come on, man. There we are. So here is Mr. Batman, and uh, he has a little black mask there, which is absolutely awesome. And uh, you can see that white... Uh, line at the top, which allows him to have those white eyes, and uh, for some reason he is tan, which is interesting, very neat, and uh, he's got a little very serious face on, and uh, he also has an angry face, and is also black around here, just to kind of complete the whole mask look, a little bat mask, Batman. Alright, and we also have the black cape, which is very neat because it's the new soft material. And you can see a very detailed, very neat looking gray torso with uh, quite a few details on there. Different shades of gray and a pretty awesome gold utility belt. So definitely a very neat minifigure we have here, Mr. Batman. Not exclusive, I don't think. I think you can get him in quite a few other sets. And uh, But he's still pretty neat. And of course, we also have, of course, uh, Batman's trusty sidekick, Mr. Robin. So here is Robin, who's uh, pretty neat. Uh, a little very modern, I'd say. Uh, not my all-time favorite Robin. I prefer the one from uh, Jokerland, that set. Um, I don't know, he looks a little better, but... <clears throat> uh, I mean, this definitely is more detailed, probably, but I like the Jokerland one. But, um... It's definitely modern. So, you have that black, kind of 
swooshed hair like that, who was also on Quicksilver, I think, and some other characters, and on Eric Kirby in Lego Jurassic World. Just off the top of my head, just naming people who have had that hairstyle in Lego form. And he also has an angry face and a scared face as well. It's definitely a neat minifigure there. And he also has this red outfit here with the R logo for Robin. He also has this red with uh, different shades of red on here. You have you can see those little belt buckles or these little buckles here on the side. And you can see all that red detailing in there with the base color. And you can see the gold and the green and all that, which is definitely really neat. And you have these pretty cool uh, dark green hands and dark green legs. And uh, you can see his white green mask, however. I think it's the same on the other face. Yes, it is. So it's very neat. And we do have um, a black cape with uh, the soft material. Um, but not the same as his because it's like pointed on the ends. And this one's just a normal black cape. But very neat minifigures overall for this set. Batman, Robin, and Deathstroke. And we also have, of course, the main attraction of the set is, of course, the Bat Boat. Or Deathstroke. <laughs> Bad Boat or the Deathstroke minifigure. I bet a whole lot of people will probably buy this just for Deathstroke, I'm thinking. But uh, here it is. Definitely a very neat build here. And you can see these uh, two little pods. There's two areas for um, Batman and Robin together. And this little axle back here, I think you can push this to pop out both of these. It works on both of them. You can snap them back in. Just push them back in. I also have two flick fire missiles right here. Try and shoot these at the box. Shoot aim for, just aim for the the bottom of the Robin's pod on the box, and I missed. Whoa, how did I miss that terribly? Let's try this again. What am I doing to miss this? Seriously. All right, hold on. Oh yeah, there we go. Shot it, and it also works on the other missile as well, I think. And uh, you see, definitely need missiles because we got that neat. Unique piece right there, which is absolutely fantastic looking. And you have the little yellow tips, the transparently yellow tips, is really neat. And you can see these little axles right here, or no, I already showed you that. Um, this right here, sorry, the little ball and socket joint here allows you to kind of position this in many different angles, which is really neat. Now this axle is all stuck. What's up with that? Oh, there we go. I think that's all right. And, uh, you got the same on the other side over here. Quite a few details on here. The only disappointment here is the back. There's not a whole lot on the back. I'm thinking you could add a little more. But, uh, maybe on the sides here, the, some black bars in there would be nice as well. And, uh, there's actually four boat pieces. You see? Alright, so if I pop one of these out. Oh, pods. Boom. There we go. You can see the, they've got that neat little raft kind of piece. And it's actually used on the backs here, too. There's another raft piece right here and here. So, quite a few raft pieces, you see there. You also have the little bat wings on the back, which is awesome. And um, you can see right here, you may be wondering what this thing is. And uh, you can actually fold this up. It's a little kind of satellite dish. And fold these up, which have a little, it says incoming on there little radar details and these flip up as well to little keyboards for the computers which is awesome you have Robin standing here working on the working on the computers you can see there's two little computers on the side as well right there and right there and so Robin can be working on the computers trying to find Deathstroke while well, Deathstroke gets all ready in a super jumper because yes Deathstroke has a super jumper in this set or you could just use it for any minute but Deathstroke's here and he can flip up and take down Robin, or, it's not what I was going for here, but, you can actually knock down that whole satellite and computer system. If I can hit this, I've gotten it once. Ooh, that was a miss. Come on. I could do this. Up. Oh, yeah, we knocked it over. So, as you see in here, actually, they use a trapdoor piece. Kind of a trapdoor, uh, style. Or, actually, the trapdoor pieces. And, uh, that's how they get it to fall down like that. It's pretty awesome. And then when you're done battling with Deathstroke and knocking over satellite dishes, satellite radars and such, you can fold that back up and have it like so, which is very neat. So definitely a very neat bat boat. Sadly, yes, you can see over there, it says boats do not float. And uh, that is kind of disappointing because actually, they, I think LEGO does have some actual, like, 
boats that float, which is pretty neat. But uh, that's okay. I mean, maybe there's a way that I can modify this so that it does float, which would be awesome. But uh, anyways, very neat set overall. It does retail at $29.99 or uh, $30 normally, unless you go to Toys R Us. I'm, I'm sorry, I just... Toys R Us kind of bothers me sometimes. It's just, um, I recommend not going there as often, as often, because, uh, they do have their Lego sets, like, two to three dollars, like, one to three dollars more than normal, which is interesting. I know the Hulkbuster set I got from there, uh, because I couldn't find it anywhere else, I don't think. And so, uh, it was $32.99, and it's normally $29.99, so $30. Uh, but yeah, that's in the U.S., so... Uh, we got this from Target, which is kind of my go-to store for all Legos, since, uh, we don't have a Lego store nearby, so, close store, I think, is the best one is, uh, Target. But, um, anyways, definitely a very neat set, definitely highly recommend it, definitely really neat. You guys can pick this up before August comes, too. Uh, so before August even comes out, or, <laughs> before August, before it's August 1st, you can, I, you can... You guys can actually get this in stores, which is awesome. Instead of waiting, um, to go to a Lego store and buy it on August 1st, or waiting till it's online on shop.lego.com or something. Until it's on lego.com, you, you can wait. You, you don't have to wait. I mean, you can go to a store and pick this up. So it's definitely very neat. But, uh, definitely recommend this set. Definitely very awesome. So, um, anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all later.